guys welcome back to my channel long time no see I know I look a little rough but that's because I wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me just so I can talk to y'all let y'all know what's going on where I've been can we just laugh at the fact that I said I was going to upload three two to three times a week I mean I just I tried y'all I tried every time I recorded a pre-recorded a video I would go back look at it and I just didn't like it. I just was in a funk. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling myself. Um, it took a haircut to make me feel myself. So I'm so happy to be back and hopefully I can be consistent because that's the number one thing to do when you're starting a YouTube is be consi consistent. Ugh, I can't talk. I can never talk. There's two things that I'm going to say right now is I have signed up for Morphe Me. This is the third month that I've got it and I thought I would bring it to my channel just for people who aren't sure if they want to get on it um if you think the brushes are worth it um what i can tell you about it is it's 19.99 a month and they give you three to six brushes now if you already have a lot of brushes i wouldn't necessarily recommend this subscription for you but if you don't have that many and you don't know what brushes to get this is the perfect thing i do have a lot of brushes but i do like to expand as well I need a lot of brushes that's all I'm gonna say I will be talking about Morphe Me and using it and I will leave um, the link down below you can use that or you can just Google Morphe Me totally up to you and then I am also gonna talk about this bad boy right here so I didn't get this the first time it sold out super super quick but I was able to get it the second time I was so happy I have loved it I've used it pretty much every day since I've gotten it um, you can kind of see where I've used it. Y'all, these eyeshadows last, and they're actually very hard to remove. So these shadows ain't going nowhere when you put them on your lid. I had to use two makeup wipes, which was super crazy for me. But not just that. I've decided to give y'all one, two. <coughs> felt like I needed to share this palette with y'all. It's so beautiful. She did such an amazing job with it. They're beautiful. They're creamy. I don't even want to touch it right now because I don't want to get this one dirty because um, it's the one that I'll be shipping to y'all. Um, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful packaging. I don't want to say too much because there's a lot of videos online about it. So if you're interested, there's plenty out there. Just Google it. Um, I'm just going to use this to get ready. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to me. That is one way to enter. There's going to be many other ways you can enter, and I will list that all down below in the description box with the link, all of that when it ends, all that good stuff. And I really hope you all enjoy this palette. Um, I will announce the winner on my Snapchat, so if you want to add me on Snapchat, you can. Um, like I said, all you have to do is be subscribed. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see the winner is and good luck to you all. Let's open the Morphe. So this month I'm with three brushes and you guys, I have no rose gold brushes. Whenever I saw this one on their Instagram, I wanted to compare it to the Morphe M527. It's dirty. I apologize. Well, I use it and I love this. So I'm actually really excited to use it. It doesn't look as fluffy as this one, so we shall see. I really love how fluffy this is, so I don't know. R7, Rose Gold 7. It's so pretty, you guys. The packaging is crazy beautiful. It says that you can use it as a pointed powder brush to set your face with or blend out your blush or bronzer. I think this is too big to use for a blush for me, um, like personal preference, but I would use this for a bronzer, so I'm excited. I will be using this one today. Dying for this packaging. This is the Morphe R14. And then it says this one can be used for bronzing your cheeks or packing a highlight for a perfect summer glow. So I might use this for a highlight. I'm going to test it out and see how I like it. I'm actually very, very, very picky on my highlight brushes. So we'll see how this one works. I'm actually really excited. The last brush that came in was the R39. And this is supposed to be a blending brush. We'll be using it, see how I feel about it. It's a little more dense than I would personally like for a blending brush um but we'll see i will try it and like i said i will give y'all my review on them if i like them you'll see it you'll see my first impression on them you know i do love these brushes they're really really pretty and you know you do get three for sure but when they give you that seven you guys i feel like i feel i had a gold mine i was like <gasps> brushes everywhere like i wanted to lay on my bed and just roll on them you know i don't know if that's just me so i will list down below how much each brush was and, you know, just um, the difference between um, getting Morphe Me or ordering online. Because, you know, that shipping and handling is a bit crazy. I really do like Morphe Me. You can skip a month, I believe. I haven't yet because of every brush I've seen 
I seem to love. And I mean, I could use more brushes. Let's get started, cook. I'm looking crazy with my eyes first, guys. As most of y'all know, and I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I really like this concealer to set my eyes. I'm still gonna set it with translucent powder. So I'm just going, I'm just going to tan. And that bad boy out. So another reason why I have been so MIA on YouTube is I have been traveling a lot with my family, my in-laws, and then I traveled by myself to go see my family. I'm gonna set it, the concealer with translucent powder, and I am going to use the R39. I'm just gonna use R39 to set it. Yeah, so this brush is very stiff, so I don't know how how this is gonna work out. I went with my in-laws was to Florida. I went to Disney World for the first time. My first time ever, it was a great experience. I'm just making sure that this is set evenly. You guys, it was beautiful. I had I started a vlog, um, but I didn't record as much video as I wanted to. So if that's something y'all want to see, I will definitely do one. Um, I still have all the footage, all the pictures. It was just an amazing, magical experience. I don't know, I can't really explain it. I was just so happy to get my balloon. So if you'd like to see a vlog on my Disney World trip, I will definitely do one. Y'all just let me know down below. Um, and then I went to Minnesota to see family. I think I want to do like a crazy, crazy look. I don't know, we're just going to wing it. So I'm going to go in with Hanky, Hanky Panky. I think that's Hanky. As my transition shade, it's a little dark, but that's the one I'm going with. I wish I could tell you the names of it, but I don't have the thing on me right now. So sorry about that. You're just going to have to work with me. All right, so I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. And just, yeah, this is too stiff to use as a blending brush. So the second place I went was I went to Minnesota. And <clears throat> fun fact, that is where I spent a lot of my childhood to the age about 10 so I have a lot of memories and a lot of family up there and I just got to go go to the waterfall and spend some time with my family just by myself my husband didn't go he couldn't go um, okay so this brush is actually having a lot like bristles are falling out so it's actually a first for me I'm not gonna lie that is actually really a first for me and I don't know how I'm feeling about so um, my husband couldn't go because he was gonna he was working, he was unable to go for work. So I got to experience that by myself. I'm going on vacation a lot, just enjoying my summer. I'm telling y'all I am ready for fall. No lie. I'm legit ready for fall. So I'm just buffing this out because I went a little heavy with the color. And since it's being a very dense brush, it's taking me a lot longer to just blend that out. I don't know. I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush and just make sure that I am blending out to my desire because that brush is just very, very stiff for me. So I'm just gonna try to see if I can use it better as a under crease eyeshadow, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush on this side cause that was a struggle. I'm gonna try the R39 on kinda just go below the transition color that I used. So I'm gonna go with this burnt orange one. I don't even want to say it's mustard, but I'm going to go with the burnt orange one. I'm not too crazy about this brush. I'm having a lot of bristles come out, and I just feel like it's just not working for me. I wouldn't recommend this brush to my enemy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm being dramatic. This brush is just not for me. I'm going to try to play with it later on for something else, but right now I'm just... I'm not loving it. So I'm going to go with um, this shade right here and just add a little bit of pop of color and dimension. That's what we're going to call it. I'm just going to pretend to know what I'm doing because I really don't. I'm just going to bring it about a little more than halfway. Like I was saying, it's actually really hard to kind of keep up with YouTube and everything that's going on, especially with beauty you know it's it's just a lot it's it, it can get overwhelming and I think I let it get overwhelming for me 
I let it get too much for me and it kind of sucks but I want to get back in there and just have fun and just enjoy myself I want to build up that color I really want that color to pop so I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more you know I want to darken up the outer corner just a tad so I'm going to go in with this dark brown right here and just kind of just be very gentle with it because I she was not playing when she made this you guys I'm just saying <gasps> I wouldn't have you handed just exactly what I said I did I didn't want to do I did there's so many beautiful new things coming out this fall and let me know what y'all are most excited for when end up end up is this shade right here for my lid so pretty oh my god i love this and i i did damp my flat brush it's so pretty you honestly do not have to dampen your brush um i just like to have that metallic look to it um i do it i love it but you do not have to totally up to you I ain't gonna lie. Do y'all like my cup? Oh my god, I got it at Disney World. <sighs> so many memorable moments. Um, I'm pretty happy with how that looks right now. Let me go ahead and put some mascara on and some lashes. I went ahead and I already popped on some regular lashes on. And let's just get started on the rest of the face. I'm gonna put a headband on and push this hair back. Because I feel like it's kind of getting in the way. I need to get me some clips. I ain't gonna lie. I like I'm ready to run. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer. If I look off to the side, that's where my mirror is at. So, so sorry guys. So all my foundation brushes are dirty right now. So I'm just going to use a regular beauty sponge. I need to clean my brushes. I obviously wasn't prepared for this. I was just in the moment. So I'm going to use my Photo Focus Foundation by Wet n Wild. It's my favorite foundation ever. Um, and I'm going to mix it with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, just to get the right skin color. <sighs> Put way too much. Son of a <laughs> freaking overboard. Fantastic. So I am just using a damp beauty blender. Because, like I said, my foundation brushes are dirty. I need to step it up and get them clean. Because, honestly, it just works a lot better for me when my shit's clean. So I know that I kept the eye look very simple, very I've seen it before look, but I just really wanted to do this video, not really as a tutorial, but more as like, you know, just telling y'all what's going on with me, what's up with me, you know, hopefully I can try my hardest to at least get a video up once a month, once a week, month, oh, once a week, I'm going to try my hardest, if I can do more, I will. Um, I just want to apologize and thank y'all so much for being patient with me. I'm going to use my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time, you guys. I think I want to do a drugstore best and worst concealers. What do y'all think? Y'all think that will be a good one? That could be my next one. Honestly, I love doing that. Whew. Forgot I had to light the rest of my face. I went a little heavy on my eyes. I'm just going heavy today. I guess that's just that, that kind of day. That's what kind of day we're going to have today. Damn. Well, I crease so bad. Like, it is redonkulous how bad I crease, you guys. It is so bad. So, I have tried so many moisturizing cream, and it just feels like nothing's working. I just feel like no matter what, it's going to happen. So, if y'all have any help, clues, something to help me with these creasing like it doesn't matter what setting spray or what um setting powder I use light heavy it just no matter what I crease I can use no setting powder and if anything it makes it so much worse I'm so excited to use this brush you guys have no idea it's so soft I'm so excited it's not as fluffy as my other one that's one of my favorites but we'll see how it goes it feels so good this brush was a lot softer than M527. Oh, it's so good. So I am just loving this. Oh, it's like perfect. 
it's honestly a lot easier for me to bronze Ooh, it's so pretty i'm loving this brush yep this brush is for me this brush gets an a plus plus so for blush today i'm gonna use color pop um flushed and i really have been loving this blush it's just been so pretty i love how it looks on my cheeks i love the finish um, i'm a real huge fan of color pops blushes um their highlights too the only thing i don't like is it smells like it smells like i got it on me i got it on me didn't i it smells like play-doh i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my under eye the shade right here for my under eyes and i just like to buff it in you guys i'm not i'm not being too crazy and that same dark brown that i stuck on my outer corner i'm gonna stick this in my same outer corner not bring it in it too far in um i'm just gonna maybe do it about halfway and i'm just gonna place it ever so lightly in there this is my favorite shade right here you guys it's a perfect pop for my eyes i love it so much i always go in with a damp flat brush but it doesn't need it <clears throat> i just like to use it to give it that extra boom -bo, you know what i'm saying I'm just gonna lightly, oh, lightly, 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 because this thing is just, but you see, like, bam, I just gotta lightly do it. I don't want to have too much of a craziness going on. So pretty. Like, do y'all see that pop? Oh my god, so beautiful. So I'll use this for my brow bone, too. I'm getting somewhere. I'm going some places. So a highlight that I have been loving so much lately is the Smashbox by Casey Holmes in gold. Um, I do have the other one. I think it's pearl. I just love how it gives me more of a natural glow, not too intense. Because sometimes, you know, I just, I do like to keep it down every now and then. Um, especially since my eyes are popping, that inner corner, I'm going to try to tone it down a little bit on my highlight. I'm going to try. So wish me luck. And we're going to use the new brush, the MR14. And I like to mix these two together just, you know, like so. All right, let's see. This isn't my favorite to use for a highlight. I, I definitely would use it for a blush. Um, I just don't like what it's doing. I don't like it for a highlight. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm gonna use my Smashbox on this side. Like I said, I'm not trying to go for a tense highlight today. Um, it's just kind of a little on the natural side. Just my inner corners are very, very, so I wanna keep it down low on my cheeks, if you know what I'm saying. Now for my lips. What do I wanna do to my lips? I'm gonna keep it nude, surprise, surprise, and I'm gonna go in with Kimberly by Kylie Cosmetics. I do like, this is one of my favorite ones. I'm not too crazy about the other ones, but this one, I do like. Darken it up a little with Kapow by ColourPop. Um, it was a little too, looking a little too light for me. But then a little like, I did a little, you know, crack. You know, I don't want them crack lips. So I just mixed the two and I got this lip color. This is the finished look. You guys, I mean, are we mad? New. No. So my final verdicts on these brushes. This was a no for me. I'm going to try it on something else, but that one was just a new no for me. Um, I loved this one so much. You guys, I, I really do like it. It's the perfect size for me, um, especially for bronzing. And you can even contour with this. Not a problem. I did not. That's not even it. My bad. I did not like this one for applying my highlight. Um, I can, I'm gonna try to use it for a more intense highlight and see if I like it. But if not, I'll definitely use this as a blush or for like um, a little more precise contour. Um, but I mean, it's still usable. It's a beautiful brush. It's very soft, very very soft. So I don't think I have a problem with it. The first brush, I think, I mean it's gonna have some complications. But you know, we'll work it out. We'll work out our differences and try to pull through so if you would like to see me keep talking about more for me please let me know i will i can do it where i do a chit chat and use them so you can see if i like them or how i use them we can definitely do something like that to my channel you know just let me know again i do apologize 
for taking so long to upload this video, but I hope y'all enjoy it. This video's probably gonna be super long. I'm gonna cut it in as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All the information will be down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I can't even say hi. Bye.